Hey, kia ora. Helen Brahms here coming to you live from, where am I? Escondido in Southern California. Sorry, just a mini brain fright there. Um, hope you're all having a super fantastic sparkling day. And a huge shout out to my friend Jason EB for pointing out the fact that, well, for actually contacting me and saying, are you okay? And I sent him back a message going, yeah, how are you? And he goes, oh, thank goodness. I haven't seen any of your lives for the last couple of days. I was like, what? So just went in and had a look. And um, usually when we do lives, the um, public, the um, privacy setting is usually set up public. But for some reason, and this is the second time it's happened to me, um, Facebook had defaulted it back to only me. So the lives were done on Saturday and Sunday and this morning on time as normal. But Facebook Live, Facebook had switched the privacy settings to only me. So thanks to um, Jason for pointing that out so I can watch for that when I now come on to do my lives again. So I have gone back, reset the settings on those videos. So um, if you're wondering if anything happened to me or anything like that, um, it's just that Facebook Live changed the settings. So I've gone back and changed them all to public. So you'll be able to see them all as well, including my little one on the three tips of a better night's sleep because we started day one today of our five day challenge um, for our mastermind group. And we, those that want to participate get to do a video a day. We get given the topic, we go do the video. So we got, and we had to do three tips on so i did mine on a better night's sleep so if you want to go you can go check that out it's on my facebook page um so yeah so today is magic monday it is also day 600 of doing facebook lives in a row wow um, i gotta get to 1096 which means i've got 496 days to go and i will be at three years of doing facebook lives on a daily basis so this week is shaping up to be a busy week. I had a very productive day today. Um, learned some new stuff um, on the help desk where I help out with Mailbox Power. Um, got, some, got a couple of curly questions in there. And some I was pretty sure I knew the answer of, but I checked, double-checked anyway before I responded. Because I said, sort of, I think you can do that. No, I don't think you can. You know, when you when you see something there and it's put out there in black and white, yet when you're inside a system, you just, oh yeah, I can do that, da 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 But then somebody actually types it out and says, can you do this? And you're like, huh, pretty sure you can or can't. And you like sit there and you're like, huh, have I done that before? And so you just like quickly send a message off to your, um, off to your teammate there and say, hey, I'm pretty sure you can't do this or you can do this. Can you confirm this for me or whatever? You just have those little brain fart moments, you know, you know those ones. Um, but did so, so did some more with that this morning, did some onboarding today. Tomorrow is an off day as far as being on the computer goes. I will be doing my lives as regular. I'll be doing day two of the video challenge. But I am meeting the movers over at the storage unit tomorrow. And uh, I don't have a car to drive over there. And so then I thought, well, maybe I'll go rent like a car or something like that. And I can throw some stuff in one of the... And I thought, you know, why go through the expense of renting when I could actually just take the RV over there? Because then I'll have Zephy with me and she can stay in the RV and watch every, all the coming, and she'll sleep on her bed and watch all the comings and goings out of the, um, out of the storage unit as they're loading it into the truck. And, um, because I'll have them park in front by the door where they can easily access. Then I'll park, um, parallel with the wall, um, so that Zephy looks out the windscreen and, can see what's going on it means I can sit there as well and keep you know watch what's going on um do a little bit of work if I need to but it means that I've got somewhere I can go and um you know if he's if he's not off at anybody's place or anything so it's just going to work out better that way so get to go do that then once the movers leave um go around to the other door and there'll be a couple of things I'll be able to do there in the other storage unit and I suddenly thought oh maybe I could get it cleared out and I thought no there's some stuff that has to go to the go to the landfill hmm so um i'm already planning on coming back this way next month so you know we'll just um deal with it then it's not a big problem unfortunately they don't have a dumpster at the at the storage place it'd be nice if they did so if you haven't clearing out storage and you need to get rid of they've got the dumpster there that would be nice if they would offer that yeah but then they'll probably have people go dumpster diving or something i don't know but anyway um so tomorrow is moving day go over and meet the movers um, they said they'll be there between 10 and 2, and I'm sort of like, okay, it's going to take me 30 minutes to get there from where I am, so I'm going to need 
um, at least that amount of notice, more would be better. And so that I said, oh, okay, well, we'll pass that on. I said, I don't want them turning around and going, oh, we're here. And I got to tell them, oh, well, you're going to have to wait 30 minutes till I get there. They need to know that it's going to take me 30 minutes to get there. So, um, but I know they're going to be there between 10 and 2. So, um, you know, we'll probably leave, unless I hear, otherwise I'll probably leave here around 9.15. So do my morning lives, do my morning um, meeting that I do. And then just, um, I'll get the RV packed up tonight. And then in the morning we just need to disconnect everything, go fill up with gas, and then um, toodle on over to the storage unit thing and just wait there. Because uh, I've got plenty of places around there that you can park on the side of the road and stuff. So I'll just do that until the truck arrives and then we can go through the gates um, together. So And the cool part is, is that I'm going to have to figure this out. So this will be my task when I get there because they actually have an app on your phone which will now open the gates for you and open the internal doors. And then the other reason I have to take the RV is I've got several sets of keys and I don't know which set of keys the key for the lock on the big unit is on. I know which one the small unit's on, I just don't know which one the big unit's on. So, hmm, we'll have to take care of that too. So, um, yeah, so it's moving day tomorrow of all the stuff that's in storage. Yay! Um, it's going to be interesting to see what comes out of there because I know most of what's in there, but I'm going to get surprised with sort of like, oh yeah. Hang on, I need that box. Because I know there's some boxes that I put on, that I wrote on the outside, RV Essentials, but somehow I think they ended up at the back of the unit when the movers put everything in. Because they took what we already had, piled it up at the back, um, and then just started pulling everything else in front of it. So pretty sure there's a couple of boxes that have like RV Essentials written on the outside. So that will be interesting <laughs> to see what comes out of that. But anyway, um, so yeah, so I hope you've had a super fantastic Sparkling Magic Monday. Day 600, wow, 400 and, what did I say? 496 episodes to go to reach the three-year mark. That doesn't seem that far away, does it? 496, so just under 500 days, and I would have done 300, I would have done three years of Facebook Lives every day. It's a little wild to think about it. Because 496 days does not sound that far away, especially after I had already completed the first year. And I sent a note to my coach saying, you know, if Gary V can do three years of um, videos on YouTube every day for three years, I can do three years as well. And I've got 701 days to go. And at that time, it sounded like a, a lot. And now that I'm sitting at day 600 and I have 490, I've got less than 500 days to go to reach the three year mark. I'm sort of like, doesn't seem that far away <laughs> but you know we've already passed the 18 month mark we did that on the first uh we did that back in february end of end of january beginning of february we passed that 18 month mark so that was pretty cool um so yeah we're just going to keep plodding along and and again if if you guys don't see my videos just shoot me a please just shoot me a private message to say hey we haven't seen your videos for you know we didn't see your videos today because i will always be doing my videos unless something has happened or I let you guys know I'm going to be out of communication um, because when we were at Rancho Ozo um, out, outside of Santa Barbara, we had zero phone signal. But I did record my live at the correct time of the day, saved it, and then as soon as we got back to cell phone service area, I uploaded it immediately. So if I'm not in an area where I've got Wi-Fi, that is my go to way I still do my Facebook live at the right time of day I just record it and then upload it the next day so um what are you oh she's got her Kong she got her Kong yesterday it's all stuffed um I thought I'd take it for me and give it to her when she was outside at my um older son's place because then give her something to do and she wouldn't be so worried about the fact that I wasn't outside with her that I was inside the house but um yeah that did, that idea did not go down very well <laughs> But as soon as we got back last night, she got her Kong, and uh, she's been working on it. Um, <laughs> just a little here going along down there. Anyway, but that's it from me for now. Um, I'm out of here. Have a super fantastic sparkling evening. Go spread some magic in, in, other, in, um, in somebody's life tonight, this evening. And we will catch you bright and early tomorrow morning for Tune Up Tuesday. We're now going to toss our Kong to see if we can um, jostle pieces out of her Kong. So she's going to be tossing it around for a little bit. So.
Ooh, the model plane guy's got his plane out again. It looks like this one that he's got out there looks like a P-51 Mustang. It's just one of those radio control ones out there. But all I can now see is the nose, but I thought it looked like a P-51 Mustang that he had there. So, but, you know, we'll go talk to him later on. Anyway, have a super fantastic sparkling evening, and we'll catch you bright and early tomorrow morning for Tune Up Tuesday. Heck on it up.